Hi, I wanted to talk to you about lectins. Now, people get really confused. They're like, what's lectins? Or are we talking about leptin? Or is there something else that I need to know about? I'm so overwhelmed already. And you know, I'm kind of glad that lectins are in the news because I think it gives us an opportunity to just show us how crazy things have gotten in nutrition. So very simply, lectins are a type of protein. So those proteins, and gluten is a lectin, um, there are other lectins, and those proteins can be found in plant and in animal foods. So if a cow eats a cucumber or a grass or any beans, it's going to also produce lectins in the same way that we have lectins in our body. If we're eating seafood, we will get that as well. The, everybody is concerned, I shouldn't say everybody, a couple of key people are concerned about lectins and in particular, are they interfering with our better health? Um, and you know, obviously we've seen a lot of issues as it relates to gluten and gluten intolerance, but the question is, are all lectins created equal? And more importantly, should all people be avoiding lectins? Now, what if I told you that lectins are found in all of these foods? So your cucumbers, because of the seeds, even tomatoes with the seeds, in garbanzo beans, in lima beans, right? In some of our healthiest foods, not in hemp seeds. So people are like, oh, phew, I can eat hemp seeds and I'm not gonna eat all of these. But the reality is, all of these plant foods are going to be great for you. When might lectins be an issue? Well, beans, we know, can sometimes be an issue digestively. So if they are an issue digestively for you, I recommend a couple of things. Eat smaller beans. Don't eat beans with other carbohydrates. So if I was making hummus, I would actually eat it with cucumber. Yes, a lectin overload. Um, so if, you know, if I was doing it that way, if I was having a bean soup, I wouldn't do, or if I was doing beans in a, um, I would do a lettuce tortilla instead of doing beans and rice, right? Um, and then I would have the beans with avocado. Enjoy it with a healthy fat. Um, so in terms of being able to enjoy beans, another way that we can make them digestively friendly is by using spices when we're cooking with them. In particular, things like fennel seeds and caraway seeds, uh, cayenne pepper if you enjoy that, pinch of sea salt. Um, and then the other thing that we want to do with beans is to make sure that we are actually cooking the beans. So one of the easiest ways to do it is a pressure cooker. And sometimes we think, oh, if it's canned, I don't need to cook it. Uh, but I still think that it's a great, especially if you're having digestive issues, that it's great for you if you do it cooked. So why the concern about lectins if there are all these ways that we can eat beans healthier? Well, the primary concern there is that it could be irritating to the lining of our digestive tract. Remember, I always talk about our digestive tract being a huge tube running through us, and it's really important for that lining to be working properly to keep things going through the system and out that don't belong there, as well as help the body absorb the nutrients through the digestive tract lining. So can lectins promote more of an inflammatory response? Well. If your digestive system is already irritated, I think it could be important for us to pay attention to how much lectins are we consuming. So one of the things that you'll notice when you do my digestive, or my better digestive evaluation and then the digestive tune-up is that in the tune-up, the recommendations, I will go lighter on beans in those early stages. And I think that's really the best way for us to approach the lectin issue. I do want to remind you that as far as every major health study has shown, if you swap beans out, if you choose beans and you get rid of, say, uh, especially processed meat or high fat meats, you actually do better from a health standpoint. So there are a ton of reasons to eat your beans, enjoy your cucumbers, um, still get your hemp seeds in, so enjoy all of these plants. And it's okay to have the lectins, uh, but if you're dealing with a, with a health and inflammatory issue, then we may want to have you go through the digestive evaluation.